on peacefully But have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do Then the rules are made up by someone we never knew Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out We don't need someone to feel alright Let's do the streets on Monday Let's call your exes and tell them they can join us too Hi everybody love ya. Welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne and this is Joanne Ralston Art that you're watching. Um, I'm publicizing too. Um, these are aprons that I'm making and I'd be happy to make you one. Um, I have them at a very reasonable cost. Um, I use a very good stabilizer top quality thread and aprons and uh, I can put anything you want on them if you want your channel on them. Um, I took these to the Fluid Art uh, Boutique Conference and I made one for Mina that said, hello beautiful people. I made one for um, Sarah that said, ninja, paint ninja. Uh, one for Karen from Rainbow Acrylics that said paint boss because she's always talking about the paints being bossy and you got to boss them and um, I made one for Kathleen from Cause that says no bra zone. I also the ones that I sold out of said happy pouring, happy painting, pour scrape repeat, um, and then I made a whole bunch and almost sold out of uh, for bloomers, blow, spin, tilt, which can literally mean a bloomer or you can take it how you want to. <laughs> but anyway, that's what the blow, spin, tilt looks like. And I do them in a bright color. Um, if you'd like one, uh, I will put anything you want on it, um, and I'll make it for you and get it out as quick as I can, and it's not much. I don't know if we're allowed to say price of things on YouTube, 43, including shipping, 43, um, <laughs> but anyway, um, email me at joannerolston.art at yahoo.com that address will be down in the description box and i'll be happy to make you whatever you'd like to have um i just i thought of this at the last minute and i thought you know i could embroidery on the aprons and because i was had plain black apron and i didn't like it i wanted something on it okay let's get to what we're doing my paints today are the new piggy paints that I got before I went to um, the Fluid Art Boutique. Um, and when I mix my piggies, I use uh, Mina Vallejo's, I hope I'm saying that right, Mina, um, her tipsy recipe, which is you take maybe three quarters of a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Depends on how much you're making. Um, if you're making a big cup for pouring, you might want to use a full teaspoon. And if you're making a little cup like I do, I use a half a teaspoon to three quarters teaspoon of alcohol. Then you make sure you wear a mask. Always put a mask on when mixing pigments. It's dangerous for your lungs. The pigments will go down in, col color your lungs, and cause damage. But anyway, you take the pigments and you mix up your pigments into the alcohol until they're good and wet and mixed and it's into a, like a slurry. Just a real nice slurry of a paint mixture. 
and then you use mix pour which I put on the bottle I'm copying off Angie Mason thank you for the tip Angie because I can never remember the numbers but anyway it's Krista 8974 at gmail.com and I believe it's Krista Rasmussen. I hope I'm saying that right, Krista. Um, she makes this in her garage. And um, she is very chemically inclined, very smart up there with chemicals. And she makes this, and it's wonderful, wonderful stuff to paint with. It's a great pouring medium. Um, and she's reasonably priced, and she'll get it out to you in no time. Um, she lives in Ohio, uh, northern Ohio, so that gives you an idea, you know, how long it might take to get to you. But anyway, that's how I mixed my paints. And then on my, um, cell activators... Um, I mix um, one part paint, three to four parts Aussie Floetrol, and that gives me my cell activator, which I like very well. Um, you can use it in any colors. I prefer to use Amsterdam paint. It seems to make a better cell activator. So you can do it in any color of Amsterdam paint. Um, I haven't used it in any other color, any other brands, and I haven't heard of anybody else using it in any other brands. So, if you're a beginner, stick to what we know so far. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bring you down to the canvas. We are going to do blooms today with the little piggies that I got and some new colors, and we'll see how it turns out. I'm anxious to try these new piggies out. So let me bring you down. And I'm going to be very careful. Let's see. Get you in the center of there. I'm still hunting. Anybody have any recommendations? Put it in the comments. Or put it, email me site or whatever of a good um, tripod that can come down over top of your paintings as you're working because this one sucks all right the colors that I have if I can say this and I know I'm not saying it right it's p-i-n-o-t is that pinwa pinna pin pinol Gris, G-R-I-S. I'm not, I like wines, but I'm not good at saying some of the names. And it is, it's kind of a shifting color. It's got, I'm not sure if that's red or if it's a purple, but we'll find out when it dries. But it color shifts. Then I have Sapphire. And this is all this little piggy. And it's a beautiful blue. And my consistency is, uh, makes a mound and pretty much disappears. But I stick with the consistency the mix gives me. Um, I don't add water to it. Because um, I, li I like the effects I get. This is golden peach. But I like the effects I get with the little piggies in this. And it's just a real cute peachy color. And this one is called Sea Glass. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. And this one is called Yellow Submarine. Got it upside down for you. And it's a beautiful yellow, almost a dandelion yellow. 
And then this is called Funk. And it's a cool purple color. Not sure yet on what order I'm going in. And I have Amsterdam White with pouring medium of the mix pour and I added water because I wanted it a bit thinner and I hope I got I made enough oh I hope I made enough I may have not We'll see. I wanted it to be a little bit on the thin side and the paint to be a little on the thin side on the canvas. And this is a 12 by 24. Okay. Let's get started. We can decide that in a minute. All right, I am going to start with Sapphire. And then, I think, I'll go with the Seagrass, seaglass, seaglass. Um, and a touch of purple. And oh, you know what? I forgot. Oh, that's okay. Um, let's do the yellow. And then the peach. And then the Pinot Grill, whatever it's called. And yes, I did forget my gold, and I want it. The more I think about it, the more I want it. Oh, where is it? 14 karat gold. I guess I can't go without my 14 karat gold. Now that's a whole lot bigger of a puddle than I wanted. Should have since I got that gold in there. Let's do some white, do some black, pop some air bubbles, just see a few. Try this different. Oh, look at those beautiful colors.
don't want that to come out that far. Okay. That looks rather striking. Look at that purple. And that green and the yellow. Oh, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's put another one on. Let's see if I can make a smaller petal this time. Blue. The green sea glass. Purple. I want, let's see if this will work, let's put a thin layer of yellow around the edge to see if we can get a different edge color. I can't do this left handed. <laughs> I'm not a lefty. My husband and my kids are lefties. My grandson's a lefty. My youngest son is ambidextrous. He can do both. I'm thinking my oldest boy said that but he might be a righty. Ooh, look at those layers of color. Oh, this is pretty. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm kind of quiet today. I'm fighting the cold, I'm making videos because I'm going out of town again to another art retreat with Christina Welch. And I'm on a bunch of cold medicine because I want to get well before the retreat. Okay, this is why I wanted to put a thinner white. Because I didn't want the white coming to the surface. Which I always get. That's just me. And I watch other bloomers. that They do put a lot of paint. Now that, I got more yellow out there. But I still got the gold outline, but I got a little bit of a green. So, let's try this again. Let's do it again. Oh, I'm so excited this turned out so pretty. And I didn't exactly mean to put all these in the middle. I was going to put them catty corner. But, oh well. It won't hurt. Especially if it's pretty. I really enjoy doing blooms when I've got pretty paints to do it with. I feel like I'm left out of color. This time, did we put yellow around? Yeah. This time, let's put the green. 
see what it does. And I got a big puddle again. I could get my 24 karat gold. I love my gold. personally like to go to the middle and spread my cell activator out before I start blowing because I feel like it, I get more reaction I get more cells and I just I like it better I am not a good puffer puffer on the blowing, just by mouth. I am just not good at it. I don't have enough breath. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. All right. There we have it. Oh, I'm loving the colors. And a little more color came out. Like this one, a lot of the green came out where I put the green around it. And this one, a lot of the yellow came out. And this one, a lot of the purple. So let's give her a spin and see what we get. I'm not gonna whip it. Because I don't want paint going everywhere because I don't want to have to clean my bottles. Um, Should go over the side pretty good. You know what I forgot that I think I might want to do? Let's do a little bit of wrecking. Just a little. To find. I think it's still up in my suitcase. The one that Miss Sarah gave us. Miss Sarah Mack. And you can get me a better paper towel. is a very sweet person. They're all very sweet. I had so much fun. And Nate Bright was kind of my companion. Look, there's the the uh, sea glass at the edges. And uh, we had a blast, needless to say. We had a blast. Joking and talking and we took classes together and amazingly enough we stayed out of trouble and didn't get put in the corner. But we had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And he came a long way from Costa Rica, let me tell you.
cool, cool, cool. It's not, let's try my regular stick. I'm being too quiet, aren't I? Oh, and we're up to 30 minutes again. I wanted to do this one below 30. I gotta practice getting these shorter. And I just <laughs> gotta work on it. I don't know if I'll spin those off, but just in case, let's make them pretty. Those are awfully pretty. And I like those. Let's spin her and see what we get. Looking pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing a good job of stopping it. Oh, I don't want it to go wonky. Sometimes it does that. see what we got here. Well, while I'm finishing this up, let me say, um, please remember to like, share, comment, if you're not already a subscriber of my channel, please consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. So far, I've got awesome subscribers. And I love your comments. Even the informative ones or the critical ones. I've received a few criticisms and doesn't bother me a bit. Um, I may use what you say and I may not. 
So go ahead. Leave me information, suggestions. Leave me criticism. Whatever you want. Just say hi if you want to. But please, leave me a comment. It just helps my channel grow. And I really want that to happen. I'm enjoying doing this. All right, let's spin one more time. Get a little more even flow going over those edges. And then I'll bring you up for a close-up. And then, hopefully, fingers crossed, stay tuned for the dry results. All right. Well, it's still. Well, I know why that's thicker paint. Because I thinned down the other. Let's go one more. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. There we go. Alrighty. I'll fix that here shortly. All right. Let me move my paint guard out of the way. And let me bring you in for a close-up. Oh, this is so cool. All right. How am I going to do this? All righty. There is flower number one. See how it kind of went wonky? I guess it's because it's on the end. Because look at the center one. It didn't go wonky. But look at the colors in it. Let me get it over out of the glare. And look at the colors in this one. And then this one is the one that I went around the outside with the yellow I think and this one I went outside with the CXC glass or was it the other way around oh I don't know once it starts spinning who knows but anyway tell me what you think and be sure once again like share comment Subscribe. Oh. And just in case I don't get that dried result. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I greatly appreciate it. And take care of you. Take care of each other. And spread the love and spread the love of art and be sure and come back and see me so you can make more comments and tell me what you think everybody take care love you bye bye okay here we are with dried results. And I'm in the basement because it's already dark outside. I've been trying to pack all day and have got nothing done. And I'll be out of town, so I needed to get this finished. Um, out of these, this one, Right here is my favorite. Remember, I used the same colors in all of them, I think. But I did them in a little bit. No, I put a, a different circle around the outside. That's what I did different. Okay. 
Oh, look at that lacing in there. Is that not cool? Oh, look at that up through there. I really like this. Look at the colors. I think after I turned the video off, I did wreck it some more. I just wanted to put a little bit more into it. And I like what I did. Look at that in there. Wow. It's just like a whole network of, oh, I don't know what you would call it. Look at the purples. Um, the purple here. The uh, green there. The gold down through here. It's really got some... Oh, there's more. It comes clear down in here. And this one is dry. <laughs> my last one was not dry, and I put my finger in it while showing you the details. Now, this, this flower kind of went kind of whopper-jawed, but it's still got a lot of color. And I tried to put some design to it with my racking. Look at that there. That's kind of neat. But anyhow, ooh, that's pretty. And I like that up there. That's pretty. Almost looks like an eyeball right there. But there is the triple bloom. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.